we are going to show you how we should proceed to make a data collection using thermography. Firstly, where? We should find an indoor location. Ideally, we should control conditions, so temperature should be between 18 and 25 degrees, and we should find a place with a background which is not reflectant, avoiding materials like glass or metal, or any other source of heat or cold that would influence the background of the location. Besides that, we recommend you to have a step to make the athlete or subject higher, and obviously a thermal camera, cable, tripod, computer and laptop with internet connection. Regarding the format of the thermal cameras, remember that there is one which is more ergonomic, is the one we are using, and another one which is named handheld. Both of them are perfectly compatible and are useful for the data collection we are performing. When? Ideally, we recommend to take at least one image, one evaluation between competitions or once a week. Ideally, match day plus one or match day plus two. Regarding which moment should we use, we strongly recommend to make the evaluation in the early morning. At least 10 minutes after the subject comes into the facilities, we make sure external conditions are acclimatized and then we strongly recommend to combine the data collection with other kind of tests like for example waiting routine, wellness surveys or other tests. We do so because we want to analyze the subject in a neutral conditions. That means before the training session starts, the treatment or the use of any cream, ice or massage on the, on the skin that might uh, influence the temperature of the skin. How are we going to do the data collection? Three main points. First, the position of the camera. Secondly, the position of the subject. And thirdly, how are we going to focus the image? Regarding the position of the camera, remember that if you are going to take images from the body, I mean from upper body or lower body, the orientation of the screen should be like this one, in a vertical orientation. If you are using this kind of camera, remember to position in the same orientation. Besides that, the distance should be depending on the lens between two and three meters. The camera should be positioned at a knee level, so the tripod more or less in front of the knees. Concerning the position of the subject, remember that we are measuring skin temperature. Therefore, we suggest to perform the evaluation barefoot without socks or shoes, and then rolling up the pants as much as possible, or even performing the evaluation with underwear. Besides that, position both feet parallel and apart, so both tights and adductors are not touching each other. And regarding the hands, avoiding the position in front of the tight, so putting them behind the head or out of the frame. Third point about focusing. If your camera has a manual focus, remember that you should manipulate this part of the lens to make the perfect of focus. Just as a tip, remember that if you have this yellow line in the boundaries, try to reduce them until the image is focused. If your camera has an automatic focus, just press the button and you will see this white box. And if you are using the plug and play system, you can directly focus from the software. If you need to take images from the upper body, remember to position the tripod and camera more or less at chest level. And then the position of the subject will be an anatomical position with both arms without touching the body. Regarding the data collection, if you don't have internet connection, remember that you can perform the data collection taking pictures and saving images inside the SD card. Then you can upload the images in Thermohuman software when you have internet connection. Data collection with the option of plug and play. As you can see, we have the thermal camera, the connection with the computer and internet, and this option will allow us to perform the data collection in real time and visualize the results before the training or the treatment starts. Also, we can transfer this information as fast as possible. And thirdly, we will see in real time if we are performing so any mistakes in the data collection, avoiding them. Let's go. We have our thermal camera connected with a cable with our 
Windows system with internet. Then we can start the data collection. Please, first player, we select our group, we press to perform the analysis and we can search for the player by the name or just clicking on his profile. Then we select the protocol, ask him just to put his hands up and then press the spice bar, then ask him to turn around, select the second protocol and take again the picture. Second player, please. We change the player. In that case, as we mentioned, it's good to roll up the pants as much as possible. Position of both feet parallel. And then again, we just press the space bar. Ask her to just turn around. Select the other protocol. And then that's okay. Remember that we can select any time pain of injuries selecting the body area and very important to select as well the thermal profile of that moment. Selecting the third player, we go for the correct protocol and then press spice bar and then turn around, please. You select the other protocol and press again and that will be all. Once we have finished with all players, we have just to click on submit and then we will see the results in that case of those three players. Remember that if you click on prevention, you will see the results based on this general index called tree, ranging the players with less or more asymmetries and creating alarms like this one, like ankle fit on the right ankle. If we want to analyze fatigue, we will get different results based on the tendency, in that case, players getting warmer or colder than normally. And in the case we have injured players, we can visualize in this option the charts of the evolutions regarding return to play.